Hi everyone, this is a reading for you from me. We're going to have a look and see what is coming through for you and uh, what messages I can give. So let's begin. Let's see what's coming through. All right. And this is a safe space where you are always, always very, very welcome. So we've got the two of pentacles here. One second. We've got the five of swords that fell on the floor. I'm just going to um, get all the cards out and then talk about them as we go along through the reading. I think that's probably like the sort of like the easier way of doing it here. So I definitely feel here that you've been feeling like things are sort of like one side and then the other side. Like when a day is good, it's like really good. When a day is bad, it's like really bad. Um, you definitely have been searching for answers in your life. So I see that here with the page of swords. You've searched, you've been searching for answers and to a degree you've been getting some answers i do see that here but also you still feel very confused about what is next to come in your life and um, what kind of stability security um you know where you're going to be and i really feel here as well that you may have been sort of like um spreading your energy across a lot of different people. So um, this can vary from person to person since it's a general reading, but you might have been, you know, spending more time with certain people that maybe you don't really spend your time with. Um, you may have been sort of around more um, people in terms of social situations or, you know, places that you go where there are people. There's just a sense here of more people being exposed to your energy. This is something that I'm really picking up on, okay? Now, it can also be that, you know, if you have an interest in tarot and maybe you're going to multiple different tarot readers, multiple different psychics, multiple different spiritualists, let's say, you're spreading your energy against, not against, sorry, over lots of different people. You're, you're exposing your energy. Sometimes they also say as well not to expose your energy to too many people. And if you do, you have to be intensely, intensely protected. And the reason for what I'm seeing here is that you feel that there's a lot more stress in your life. You feel like things are not really going very well. You feel like, you know, um, with the five of swords, you just feel like no matter what you try to do, it either goes one way or the other. It either goes really good or it really goes bad. And you just feel lately that you've had a string of bad luck. You feel lately like um, certain things in your life are not falling into place the way that you would expect them to, or the way that you would like them to, or the way that you would want them to. And it's really creating this sort of chaos, frustration, um, and, you know, just... <sighs> It's causing this overwhelming energy in your commitments where you don't actually know what to do, how to do it, and what's going on. You just feel rather overwhelmed, flustered, frustrated, and rather chaotic. And the reason for that truly is because everything is just really overwhelming. It's very stressful. It's just very chaotic. And there's a real sense here, okay, of... I really feel that you can beneficial beneficial you can benefit a lot from a clearing okay so this clearing can bring you some re relief overnight from what i'm seeing because you've got here the nine of swords this is like that over the night energy okay i really feel here as well especially if you're struggling with your love life where you feel like no matter what you do you just keep getting rejected things keep falling apart in your love life you feel like you know with your career you keep stalling or you keep coming across people that are really like jealous negative they create gossip and drama in your work environment or you're dealing with a lot of very cutthroat people in your family um, or just in general, people being very rude and insensitive towards you, and you just feel this constant sense of rejection and people that are very, very like cutthroat, very stubborn towards you, I really feel that you can benefit from a clearing. So a clearing is also known as a, well, from what I see here is black magic removal um if you haven't done one it is something i would really recommend now if you have done that and you've also done the protection then you don't need to do it you know because the protection ritual protects you for life against all forms of black magic hexes curses evil eye you know which is when people are very jealous and they project that energy onto you um so you don't need to do it again if you've done the protection but basically black magic removal removes black magic hexes curses voodoo and negative energy that's built up by these people that you've been exposed to who you have no idea what they do behind your back, you know, gossiping, talking about you, wishing you ill, wishing you really bad things to happen to you, that energy can actually latch onto your energy, especially if you're not protected, okay? And that's the thing is that, yes, you have spirit guides, you have angels, but they can only do so much. That is why people, 
you know, who are protected by angels and spirit guides, they still are vulnerable to magic. And that's why magic doesn't get stopped, right? Otherwise, if magic could get stopped, then angels and spirit guides, you know, they would be stopping all that magic, but black magic is still something that latches onto people's energies and making sure that you're protected from it in this day and age, I think is so important because the thing is, things like that are actually becoming very mainstream, which is very scary and very dangerous, okay? So making sure that you are protected from that energy is really important. That's why I always recommend, you know, people that come by this channel, you know, you don't have to come to me. It is something that I offer, but you don't have to come to me. You know, if you know somebody else that does it, I just feel here that is so, so important, you know, that you you do it in the way that makes you feel comfortable. And if that's coming to me so that I do it for you, then, you know, then we are there. I am here, you know, um, but the black magic removal removes all of the magic and then the protection ritual protects you against all future magic. So the black magic removal does protect for three months. So within three months, or if you wanted to do them both together, you know, you can do the protection ritual and then you're protected for life against magic. And anyone that sort of casts evil eye onto you does black magic. It just won't affect you. Okay. But if you have felt like your life just isn't working out, I really recommend you to consider doing a black magic removal for sure, okay, and then doing a protection ritual because I feel like it's affected your life so much to the point where you feel so unlike yourself, you feel like certain things in your life are not working out, you feel like things are just very chaotic and overwhelming and challenging and you oftentimes don't know why certain things are happening the way that they are and it's really overwhelming and frustrating for you and you feel oftentimes very challenged and you know, you just feel like there's just so much, there's only so much bad luck a person should have, but you feel like you constantly have that. And the Knight of Wands does show that, you know, overnight, if you do the black magic removal, you will start to feel like something has changed in the energy, okay? Something has changed, but it takes time for things to get better in the sense that, you know, once you remove magic, it's not like, boom, everything's just perfect, you know? It takes time for that energy to sort of like clear out and for the your life to then give you what you always sort of deserved, right? It takes time for the reset to happen. But you will feel a change. You will feel the change that this manipulation that people are doing towards you, this control that people have on you, you know, people that have perhaps done magic on you, cast an evil eye onto you, you will feel like there is a genuine, genuine change in the sense that something has changed, something has shifted and things will get better from that point forward. So that's what I see with justice, literally justice being served, things becoming balanced in your life, things coming together in the way that they should have always come together, you feeling so much happier and so much stronger and so much more uplifted in your life and feeling really like basically just so much more uplifted, okay? And that is what I see here, like karma and justice being served in your life so that things just get better and you feel so much better and stronger and not having to then deal with this awful, like three of swords energy of just not knowing like what's going on? Why is it like this? What's happening? You know, there's a real sense here of you just feeling like everything's coming together. Everything's going to be okay. Things are moving in the right direction. Like you will slowly feel that you're going from this sort of like heartbreaking energy of things not working out to, you know, really feeling like there's growth and there's momentum and you feel a little bit like just better with circumstances. You know, this person is just with their circumstances, feeling okay, feeling a lot better. It just feels better okay so that's what i see there um i'm also just going to grab a deck of cards but i also wanted to mention as well um that if you ever wanted to you know purchase any personal like services readings items rituals everything is always linked down below and on shopmoonlightguidance.com the rituals actually work with healing so that your intention takes place apart from the removal which obviously it removes magic like that's very very different um but nothing is karmically bad it's not to do with magic or anything like that um the black magic removal obviously just removes magic which is nothing bad to do it doesn't place magic on you um and um yeah there's also intention items there's thousands of five star reviews as personal tarot readings if you wanted a reading with me and you know so much more so definitely do um, check that out if you are interested everything is always linked down below and on shopmoonlightguidance.com let's have a look at some cards here and see what we have so we have ocean so this is distance and journey i feel like you're going on this journey to protect yourself you have so much more coming in your journey as well um you have already come a long long way but things are only going to get better on the horizon from what i am seeing here and your life is going to improve i just feel like you've been through some real difficult moments and issues and problems um so 
We also have here as well opportunities, home and gate. So more opportunities are definitely going to open themselves up to you. I do feel like there is, you know, this energy that has been sort of stopping you from having that. But you also have the information now on what you can choose to do in order to further better that part of your life. We also have here as well loyalty, determination and dog. So you're going to have many more loyal people come into your life. People will start to become more loyal rather than you know, creating that kind of chaos that you don't need. I also feel as well that this really shows here loyal relationships and also people really just understanding you and being towards you how you are to others. You know, it really does go to show here a lot more loyalty and a lot more love and a lot more happiness and peace being spread in your life, which is amazing. So the affirmation for this reading is I am spreading happiness in my life. Okay. And that's, that's what we have. So if this resonates with you, comment that down below or comment down below the evil eye emoji. Okay. That is the reading that I have for you. And also don't forget to, you know, um, check out TikTok and Instagram. I post short readings on there every day. Moonlight.guidance on Instagram, Moonlight Guidance on TikTok, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Okay. Take care, everyone. Bye.